um, coming up after that. So yeah, I'm just I'm happy to be back and looking forward to playing rugby in New Zealand again. Brody, how good for you? Kind of you like body, pers- ref- feeling refreshed. Everything was that Japan um, stint. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, yeah, like mentally, I feel really refreshed. It was kind of like a, a bit of a breath of fresh air going over there and um, different ideas, different voices, playing new challenges. Um, and yeah, like obviously our first, the, the break between the first and second season was a little bit longer because of COVID. So you know, I hope to kind of re- re- uh, the rewards of that with my body now. And um, yeah, I feel like it's in a good spot. I was talking to Wayne Smith this morning. He reckons you're the fittest, the lightest you've ever been. He reckons the side steps improve. He also said playing lock over there is like playing midfield here. So, <laughs> what does that make you now? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, Fozzie will decide that. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, they played a pretty expensive game of, or brand of footy over there. So there was a fair bit of open space and. Yeah, like when, when we come back um, after the first season, we had about seven months back in New Zealand, so um, it gave a lot of time to, a, one, have a break and not train too much, and then have a great pre-season leading into the season that's just been. So, yeah, the body and the fitness and all that's in, in a good spot, I think. So are you the lightest you've been for a while? Not anymore, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Smithy. <laughs> um, Brody, have you sort of, uh, you know, if you notice the... The changes. There's so many new guys in the team, and some of them would have been at intermediate school when you went away. Uh, do you know those players, and what, what, what have you sort of? What was it like for you? I guess the first time you made the team. Yeah, it was obviously. I was a little bit nervous walking back in here this morning. It kind of not the first time, obviously, but, but coming back. Um, yeah, and I've met the new fellows this morning and, and said good day. So oh, I think um, Ethan, I was having a bit of a chat to him, or Ethan won, the number one prop. Um, he was pretty nervous, but yeah, no, it's awesome to see those guys watching from abroad and on TV. Um, yeah, they deserve their spot and it's an exciting time for them. Brady, what's the biggest adjustment in terms of game play? Is it tightening things back up? Yeah, I think so. And I think, you know, the physicality of um, the the top league versus Super Rugby and Test Rugby is going to be different, so um, yeah, I guess that, that'll be the biggest gap to, to bridge. And this 50-22 rule that apparently is going to be brought in in August, do you know much about that? I did read it somewhere when I got jumped with the paint from Nate this morning, but um, yeah, maybe I'll have to start practicing my, my long punt. <laughs> hey, when was the last time you kicked in a game? <laughs> um, never, but there's... Uh, uh, Bryce Casey from the Rock, he's pretty keen to see a drop kick at some point, so <laughs> who knows who. <laughs> Brody, a few, a few years back, um, I don't know if you were playing then, but Jerome Kano went away and did a similar thing to you, had a year or two in Japan, came back and had an absolute career resurgence. Can this be, you know, can you use this, you know, as you say, feeling refreshed, can you use this to kind of, you know, have a really, you know, good two years or so ahead to the through to the next World Cup, do you think? Yeah, I hope so. That's um, was, that was obviously the plan before leaving. You know, it was kind of like a, a four-year kind of view, I suppose, was to go there and have a little bit of break and change the scenery, and then come back and, and go hard for a couple. Um, so yeah, that's definitely the plan, and I'll, I'll be doing everything I can to make sure it plays out like that. That said, Japan rugby. Do you feel like you know the stand? You know, it's it's not kind of the holiday it once was. Do you feel like the standards getting better and and the league over there, etc. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's definitely improving, and um, there's a lot more uh, players going there. And you know, I, I was pretty adamant in my head that I wasn't just going there for a holiday. You know, I, I didn't want to be um, disrespectful for the club or anything like that. So I tried to put my best foot forward and, and um, play the best footy I could for them. Um, but you know, it's you know, there's a lot more time at home and um, less travel and stuff like that. So it, it has been re-energising, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Brody, just on your body, um, looks good to me, but how is your body at the moment? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Like, um, I haven't had any niggles or anything when I've been away, um, and obviously having that break has been good. So, yeah, like, touch wood, it, it, it hangs in, and I think, yeah, I've pretty much done everything I can to, to keep it together and, and get stronger and fitter. So, yeah, I guess what it'll be what it'll be now. How often were you in communications with the uh, All Blacks coaches over the last couple of years while you were in Japan? Um, no, no, very little to be fair. They <laughs> um, didn't hear from them much. Uh, Pete the physio would check in every once in a while, but apart from that, yeah, that was kind of it. Was it nice for you to, to have that much freedom? Like they weren't checking in every few weeks? Yeah, I guess so. And, you know, there probably wasn't much to report back to them either, so I think they were just. Um, 
yeah, concentrating on the, the footy back here and the players back here, and I was doing my thing. Were you surprised to, to get your call up this time around, given you have been in Japan? Oh, I guess that's out of my. I, I was hoping for it, and that's that was uh, the selectors and the coaches' decision. And um, obviously, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And how when, ready are you? How ready are you for that, that first um, first game, um, for the first test for the double backs? Yeah, I'm. I'm in, I mean, I'm ready if I'm picked, and um, whether whether I will be or not, that you know, that's not my decision. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready to start getting back into it and, and playing there. No doubt Nick Gill has been in touch though. Um, how intense has the program been that he's had you on? Uh, it's, it's been not too bad. Like uh, us, we spent our two weeks in quarantine here in Auckland, so gave me a bit of a program then, and then we eased back into the running from not being able to do too much um, in the hotel. But you know, it's it's been good. I've been doing a little bit of training with the Magpies and jumping in the air and um, training from my home. So um, yeah, it's been enough, I think. Um, when you look at that new rule change. Are there any rule changes you'd like to see in rugby? Is there anything that sort of just annoys you? <laughs> oh, not off the top of my head, no. Um, you got any suggestions there? Oh, I'm a bit sick of rolling malls. I mean, I know you're a lot, but um, <laughs> how do you feel about a rolling mall? Oh, it's great to watch when one comes together, so I'm happy for it to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, given that you come back and uh, I think if you look around your second row, mate, Sam Whitelock, Patrick Tui Peloto, you know, kind of... Some same guys. Do you feel like the return will be pretty seamless for you? Yeah, I, th I think it is. Like it's it's always nice to s see people that you play with and friends. And you know, jumping on the bus at the airport today, it was not like I never left, but it was. They're like, oh, you're just back in here, are you? So <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice to see them and um, and hopefully play alongside them again. I suppose the boys will be keeping out of your way on the training field for the next few days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who knows? <laughs> um, are you allowed down the back of the bus given your seniority? Yeah, well, I'm not too sure. It hasn't been a full bus yet. I might have to start at the front again and work my way back. <laughs> Brody, you know Sam Whitelock as well as anyone. What, what does he bring as a captain and maybe the differences between him and Sam Payne as well as Skipper? Yeah, obviously um, Sam Whitelock, his experience with you know, his time with Captain the Crusaders there and he's a very deep thinker and he he um, leaves kind of no stone unturned I suppose. He'll, he'll make sure everything's done correctly and, and to a high standard so um, and he's a great people person and I guess they're both pretty similar to be fair like similar personalities so um, yeah I don't think there'll be too much of a difference for the boys there. Tonga and two against Fiji, good way to ease back into Test Rugby. Do you, uh, there'll be a bit of, a, a bit of uh, footy play as well, I imagine. Yeah, no doubt. Um, <coughs> well, you know, the Fiji and Flair and the style that they play, it'll be a fast, fast game. With, um, you know, it's hard to combat teams like that sometimes when it's unpredictable. So, And then obviously Tonga off the bat, um, with, you know, it'll be the first kind of test in New Zealand for a while after last year, so it'll be exciting to have Test Rugby back. Speaking of Flair, can you explain what's going on at the back of your head there? Is there an attempt at a mullet or what is that? Yeah, well, I was trying to keep up with Damien. And obviously his is a bit longer and a bit thicker and a bit fuller than me, so I'll just keep trying. The All Blacks Sorry. locking stocks aren't getting a little bit older. Is there any concern that they'll be a little bit old once they come around to the World Cup? <laughs> well, age is just a number, they say, so as long as you're performing, uh, then I don't see a problem there. Maybe just your thoughts on, because you weren't in the All Black environment last year, just your thoughts on what you saw from them last year and maybe around the inconsistency, what your thoughts are as to why? Yeah, I'm not too sure to be fair. Oh, I was only watching from TV and when I watch on TV I just watch like a spectator, I don't try and analyse it too much. Obviously um, there's some different circumstances happening around the world and um, you know, it's, it's test rugby, it's not always going to go one way, so yeah. I guess now I can just try and do my part to make sure that we come out each Saturday with a win. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Thanks Brady. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.